thank you for tuning in and welcome to Aaron Painting. Today, I want to paint up this wood elf. It's uh, going to be the character one of my friends is playing in an upcoming RPG campaign that I'm running. And um, yeah, I thought it would be fun to do a little video on how I paint how, how I painted. I primed it uh, with Chaos Black Spray and then sprayed it from above with Corex White Spray to give a central highlight. And uh, this is not something I've done a lot before, so I'm really excited to see what effect it will have. So, the first thing I want to do, let's get the lid off the wet palette. Take some Iosan Green, thin it with a bit of Lamein Medium. And paint it all over his clothes. Next up, I'm gonna shade the green with Beltan Green. Before I get into highlighting, I wanna plug in the rest of the core colors. So, starting with uh, some chocolate brown. This is for... Uh, to break up the green and uh, also for his belts and uh, boots and stuff like that. Next, to break up uh, the surface even more, I'll take some Menoth White Base. And this is for the stitches and the straps, uh, the arrow shafts and also his bow. Next, I'm gonna wash over the off-white and the brown with Aquasics Earth Shade. While waiting for the wash to dry, 
I'm gonna take some steel and mud, and uh, this is of course for the base. Now the wash and the base, uh, texture paint has not dried yet, but uh, I'll just work on another part of the miniature. I'll paint the little that's visible of his face with some forest skin. Next up I'm gonna highlight the flesh with a bit of pale flesh. Next I'm gonna highlight the green and for that I'll start with a mixture of 1 to 1 Ariosan green and Necrotite green and then after that Necrotite green all on, all on its own. I want the green to be a bit brighter, so I'll take a bit of flash kit yellow, and this is just for the sh a few very sharp edges. Next up, I'm gonna paint his sword using chainmail silver. Next up, I'm gonna take some flat earth and uh, use it to highlight the brown. Next up, I'm gonna take some Nuln Oil and wash the sword, as well as the base. While waiting for the wash to dry, I'm gonna highlight the off-white. Starting with a mix of Menoth White Base and Menoth White Highlight, and after that Menoth White Highlight all by itself. Next, I'm gonna highlight the sword using some more chainmail silver. And finally, I'm gonna dry brush the base with some Terminatsu stone. Then I'm gonna paint the base rim black and put some tuft on him. But before I put the tuft on, I'm going to give him a coat of Malejo, uh, Vallejo Matte Varnish. And he's done. I'm really happy with him. It was a nice and quick paint job, the way I like it. Um, I really like how the green turned out, especially on the cloak. Uh, also, the off-white bony color on the bow works really well, I think. 
Um, yeah, I apologize for the camera not being uh, able to focus sometimes. I'll do my best to fix this for next week's video. Um, I'm not sure why it started doing it, but uh, but yeah, I'll definitely spend some time working on that before I, uh, I do my next video. Other than that, check back for more fantasy uh, content. I will be painting up characters for some of my friends. I'll be painting up some monsters for them to fight. And I'll also review some dungeon tiles that I bought from TT Combat. So, uh, yeah, remember to like and subscribe. All that jazz. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.